Hello everyone. For today's video is I'm going to show you how to start and test the emergency generator. Emergency generator is very necessary on board ships because it gives necessary electricity in case that there is a failure from the main generators. There are three ways how to start the emergency generator. There is what what you call hydraulic start, manual start by the use of the battery, and automatic start by the use of the battery. So to start the simulation, I need to press Shift F1. Now it's on running condition. You, you have, have only 15, 15 minutes, minutes to fulfill, fulfill the, the assessments. assessments. We only have 15 minutes. And the first thing that we are going to do is the hydraulic start. So I'm going to build the pressure up to 200 bars. So this is low level, so I need to top up. Lube oil is low level, I need to top up. And the diesel oil, I need to top up a little bit. This is enough. I'm going to close the valve. And this is also enough, so I can close. And this is also enough. So let's just wait for the pressure to be at 200. It's already 200, so I can now switch off the hand pump. And we can now start the emergency generator with the use of hydraulic pressure. So as per the instruction, we need to run the emergency generator on hydraulic for at least one minute. It is already one minute. I will now stop the emergency generator. So the emergency starting of emergency generator with the use of hydraulic is successful. What we are going to do next is the starting of emergency generator with the use of the battery. So to do that, I need just to press start. So as what you can see, it's not starting. So I will stop it and I'll need to fix it because there is a problem. It cannot start. So to do that, click this letter M. This is the malfunction page and look for the emergency generator starter relay failure and click reset close the tab and try to start it again so as what you can see our emergency generator is now running with the use of battery same also we need to run it for at least one minute.
It is already 1 minute. I will now stop the emergency generator. So we can say that the manual starting of emergency generator with the use of the battery is working well. The next test that we are going to do next is the automatic starting of emergency generator. And we need to do the test 1. So this test 1, it is simulating that there is a failure from our emergency generator in which our emergency generator should automatically start. So I'm going to press auto and press test 1. Okay. So it's starting. Same also as before, we need to run at least one minute for this one. It is already one minute. I will now stop the emergency generator. So to do that, unpress this test one and our emergency generator should automatically stop on its own. Okay, so as what you can see, our emergency generator stopped on, it, on its own. Which is, it means that it's working well. So the next test that we are going to do is the test number two. In which it will, uh, it will disconnect in reality. The main generators this one it will disconnect and our emergency generator should automatically start and connect on its own so let's do that test number two initiating so if there are alarms acknowledge press shift f12 to silent and click the numbers here on the top and click the blinking ones. Shift F12 to silent. Okay. So as what you can see, our emergency generator is automatically running. So it's running now and we need to make sure that our emergency generator is now connected to the emergency bus bar. So as what you can see, it is working fine because our emergency generator is automatically running and automatically connected to the emergency bus bar. Okay, so we can conclude now that all of the tests are working fine. So for this test also, for number two, we are going to wait as well for at least one minute before stopping.
it's already one minute so to stop the emergency generator we need to unpress the test number two and our emergency generator should automatically disconnect to the emergency bus bar so acknowledge the alarms and we need to go here on the electric power plant and as what you can see it's now automatically disconnected to the emergency bus bar and the main generators is now back on supplying electricity to the emergency bus bar so what you can see it's automatically disconnected and now it's automatically stopping so that's it and that's it thanks for watching guys and I hope I hope that you've learned something new for today. That's it. Bye bye. Ciao.